Okay, in this lecture we're going to take a look at the paragraph anatomy and we're going to look at leading, blocking, tracking, kerning, ligatures and hyphens. And then in the next lecture we're going to apply what we've learned here to our manuscript. So leading, as you can see, spelled leading, it's pronounced leading because it's it comes from the strips of metal that printers use to separate lines of type. And the font size is measured from the ascender line to the descender line. Leading is the difference between the two X height median lines, or the two ascenders, two descenders. So if we have a font size of 12 and leading white space we want to be six points that would give us lead in 18 so and we would den denote that as 12 over 18. Blocking we have fiction and non-fiction standards. In fiction we have indented blocking with no space between the lines apart from the first paragraph after a, a, a chapter break for example which has no indentation. With non-fiction, we have no indentation throughout, but we have additional white space between the paragraphs. Tracking is the space between letters and also between words, so it's between multiple letters. As you can see, in the middle we have standard tracking. We can artificially condense a font by reducing the tracking, so we have smaller spaces and we can artificially expand a font by adding additional space in. Kerning, on the other hand, is the space between two specific letters and it's based on kerning tables designed by the font designer. So that allows, for example, the curve of the letter E to nestle into the space of the vertical capital W or the baseline of the capital letter L to extend into the space for example, in a lowercase letter y. Ligatures are where two letters, for example, fi, fl, or two fs, are represented by a single glyph. It's up to you whether you use ligatures or stick with two separate glyphs for each letter, but using ligatures does make large blocks of text more legible. And hyphens, of course, are the lines that we use in the middle of a word at the end of a line of text to allow us to use justification for block layouts without having massive spaces between words.